Hello, I'm Dr. Alicia and today you will find out how to prepare your turtle for hibernation, so stay tuned! Before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell as well. That way, you will be notified as soon as we release a new video that will help you become a better pet owner. Hibernation for cold-blooded animals is called brumation, but in this video we'll use the term hibernation since it's more common. Turtles in their natural habitat will hibernate in their given climate gets cold during the winter months. When the outdoor temperature drops, the days get shorter and the sun sits lower in the sky, turtles and tortoises will begin to prepare for a period of hibernation. When it gets too cold, they have a difficulty moving their limbs and digesting food. In combination with these factors, it only makes sense for them to find out a safe, quiet place to live out the winter. These safe, quiet places usually involve a dog out burrow that gets them below the frost line or under a thick bed of rotting leaves. Some turtles and tortoises species hibernate while others do not. Generally, tropical turtles and tortoises do not hibernate. Many of the box turtles that originate from the southeastern United States are used to much shorter cold periods and thus don't hibernate as long or start later. Here's a list of species that commonly hibernate. Box turtles, desert tortoises, wood turtle, red-eared sliders or snapping turtles. Understanding what type of turtle you have will help you determine if and when it's time to put them into hibernation. It's healthy to hibernate turtles, so this is something you should do if they are ready and able. How to prepare your turtle for hibernation? Step number one. Check your pet's health. Only healthy animals should hibernate. During hibernation, the immune system slows down considerably and a turtle that was even mildly ill going into hibernation is likely to die during or shortly after the process. Examine your turtle carefully for signs of illness such as swollen eyes, discharge from the nostrils, swollen ears, low body weight, difficulty breathing exhibited by opening the mouth frequently. Aquatic turtles remaining out the water at night, abscesses or other signs of parasite infestation, wounds or shell rot, strong odor, inflammation or leaking liquid from underneath the tail. Inside the mouth, look for symptoms such as the appearance of small blood spots, deep red purple tinge or a yellow cheesy substance. Even if you see nothing, you should still have the turtle examined by a veterinarian. Step number two, weigh your pet. Note it's time to weigh your turtle or tortoises to get a baseline weight. Keep weighing your pet every two to three weeks. Step number three, feed your reptile vitamin A during the summer. Towards the end of the summer, 12 to 16 weeks before hibernation, Add vitamin A rich foods or a cold liver oil supplement into your turtle's diet. Only a few drops of the oil is needed during the entire month because vitamin A is fat soluble and will stay in your turtle's system throughout winter. Some good sources of vitamin A include for tortoises, carrots and squash. For turtles, we'll divide those vitamin A sources into two categories. The first one is non-meat foods such as leafy, green vegetables like kale, broccoli, mustard and collard greens, as well as dandelions, orange vegetables like alfalfa squash, carrots, sweet potatoes, orange fruit like cantaloupe and peaches. The second category is meat foods such as fish and baby mice. Step number four. Fast your pet two to six weeks before hibernation. As you begin to recognize your turtle slowing down, decreasing its food intake and attempting to dig a burrow, you will know it's time to prepare them for hibernation. 
and this point you should stop feeding them so they can clear out their digestive tract. Do not try to hibernate a turtle or tortoise who has eaten within the last month. Instead, delay hibernation. Step number five, hydrate your pet. While fasting, soak your tortoise or turtle every other day for 20 to 30 minutes in chin deep water. Ensure your turtle or tortoise has access to drinking water constantly from now until the end of the entire hibernation. This helps encourage the tortoise to expel waste from the digestive tract and to stay hydrated. Step number six, decrease the temperature before hibernation. Ensure that all food is out of your pet's body before you go on to the next step. Ensure temperature is close to 10 degrees Celsius and not below. Turtles start one week before hibernation. 18 degrees Celsius for two to three days gradually reduced to 15 degrees Celsius over two to three days, then gradually reduced to 10 degrees Celsius. Tortoises start four weeks before hibernation. Gradually reduce temperature to 15 degrees Celsius over one week, then keep the temperature between 13 to 15 degrees Celsius for three weeks. 10 degrees Celsius is the maximum warmest temperature for hibernation to occur. If your turtle or tortoise is at 10 degrees Celsius, they will begin to hibernate. Step number seven, decide where your pet will hibernate. Turtles in the wild hibernate outside, so your pet turtles can survive outside too. Aquatic turtles can hibernate outdoors as long as it's safe, the water doesn't freeze and has a depth for at least 50 cm. Terrestrial and semi-aquatic turtles as well as tortoises can hibernate indoors and outdoors. If you make a decision to keep them outside, make sure you secure the hibernation chamber so predators can get to them. You do this by digging a pit into the ground that is about 60 to 90 centimeters deep and 60 centimeters across. Make sure it's not dug into an area that is prone to flooding. Next, fill the pit with mulch, moss and grass clippings and then moisten it with hoes. Once you place the turtles into the pit, allow them to dig down before placing additional leaves and mulch on top of them. For added protection, add a piece of plywood on top of the pit, raised up by a few bricks. This will keep the rain out and predators away. If your pet is staying indoors, scope out a cool location in your house for your turtle or tortoises. Many people use our refrigerators. Others use garages and basements. You can build a box or use a storage bin to use as a hibernation tank. Inside these containers, fill them with a packaging material, then place another box inside all of that. Inside this interior box, add shredded paper or a loose substrate. Finally, place a turtle inside that box and loosely close both lids. If you are choosing to place your reptile in a fridge for hibernation, you must watch your fridge and pet carefully to avoid accidental death. Pick a location that stays above 10 degrees Celsius as its default. Pick a fridge that you will not be using often throughout the day. Opening and closing the door often can dysregulate the temperature, as well as flicker the fridge light on and off. Place a container inside your spare fridge with a layer of substrate. Add a thermometer for checking the temperature in your pet's environment. Place a lid with ventilation holes on top of this container. Opening the door once a day should be enough to provide fresh oxygen for him. Step number eight, check on your pet regularly. Your tortoise or turtle might become less active, but it should still seem alert and reactive. If your pet is sick, listless or otherwise abnormal, check with your pet. If your tortoise or turtles has urinated or defecated while hibernating, or your pet's skin is dry, or hibernaculum is more wet than usual, soak your pet for two hours in room temperature water. 
the water level should happen just below your pet's bridge. Dry your pet thoroughly and return your pet to the hibernaculum placed in a slightly cooler location. You have been keeping your pet in location that was too warm and dehydrated your pet. And finally, waking them up when it's time. In the wild, they will hibernate from October to March. When night temperatures get above 10 degrees Celsius, turtles will begin to emerge from hibernation chambers. Turtles that have been in the refrigerator should only be allowed to hibernate for three months. You can take them out of hibernation by slowly raising the temperature of the fridge over a week or so. Keep your pet at 15 degrees Celsius for two days. Increase to then maintain at 18 to 20 degrees Celsius for two to three days. Finally, return your pet to non-hibernation temperatures 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. Turtles will likely not eat right after they wake up but you need to provide them with the fresh water daily. Soak your pet in water for 20 to 30 minutes every other day. Your pet must drink to flush out the toxins in its kidneys accumulated from hibernation. You should inspect them for diseases and illnesses and treat any health issues right away. If you see signs of any illness or infections, see your vet immediately. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like and we'll see you soon. Bye bye!